I've noticed a recurring trend on the internet. The internet does not like ambiguity, and that includes in films. I love film. I love watching movies, I love analyzing movies, I like finding movies that I think are really good. Um, it's my opinion, of course, but who cares? This is an opinion piece. Um, this trend on the internet about ambiguity, people try to explain things that don't need to be explained. Or people try to come to conclusions about ambiguous things, completely missing the point of ambiguity. The best example I can think of is Inception. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Inception, skip over this section. In Inception, at the end, he spins his top to determine whether he's in the dream or in reality. Right? After you're in a, in a dream for so long, you forget, right? That's the point of the movie. So, he spins the top and then just leaves to be with his children. The point of the film is not, well, I guess the point of the ending, is not to determine whether he's in a dream or in reality. That's not the point. The point is to show, hey, he went to go be with his children. He cares about them more than anything. Even himself, I guess, is, is what they're saying. People on the internet don't like that. They don't like how ambiguous the ending is, so they start to analyze it. They, they looked at the top and determined the trajectory by computer models of whether it's going to be, you know, lying sideways or whether it's really spinning or if it's going to stop spinning, blah, 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 blah. That misses the point entirely. The point is you missed the point. I think there's a big division between interpretation and intention. When a filmmaker intends something to be ambiguous, it's supposed to be interpreted in multiple ways. However, that hasn't stopped the internet from jumping on some of the most debated things in film studies and trying to come to a conclusion. Stanley Kubrick did an interview about The Shining, and he said that in his opinion, the paranormal elements were real. It was really happening. It wasn't in the character's mind. The fact that he even had this question should be a red flag to you. The internet jumped all over this. Because there's been renewed interest in The Shining thanks to Rob Ager and other filmmakers who have been analyzing it. Not knocking them, I think they've done a great job. I just hate the fact that the internet has come to a conclusion about The Shining. They've said, well, because Stanley Kubrick believes this about the movie, this is the true interpretation of the movie. Then why did Stanley Kubrick intentionally mislead people into believing the other interpretation? The film can be interpreted in multiple ways, right? That's why it's ambiguous. So is he purposefully lying to audiences? No, it, it's intentionally subtle, it's intentionally ambiguous. He intended it to be interpreted in multiple ways. And in fact, he said, in my opinion, because his is one of many interpretations. Is his the one that matters? No, his intention is what matters. If he intended it to be in interpreted in one way, but then accidentally had it interpreted in multiple ways, then he's just a bad filmmaker. Is Stanley Kubrick a bad filmmaker? No? <laughs> Why would you even say that? It just doesn't make sense for the internet to jump on it like that. The other big one, other than The Shining, is uh, Total Recall. Paul Verhoeven, in another interview, said that it was a dream, and it didn't actually happen, it was all in his head. You know, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. Or is it Doug or something? I don't know. Anyways, he said that, um, but he intended it to be ambiguous. He intended it to be interpreted in multiple ways, and it was. People have been arguing back and forth since the movie came out about whether it was real or whether it was a dream. 
Oh, this is a fun one. Because Paul Verhoeven straight up said, this is supposed to be a dream. Then why did he leave hints and edits to the other opinions? Why did he hint that, oh no, this actually happened. See, the guy's sweating in that scene, you know, he, he's actually a real person, he's not dreaming. It's so irritating to me. If he intended it to be something, and then just film, filmed the uh, scenes that proved the opposite, then he's just a bad filmmaker and lying to his audience, right? I don't think Paul Verhoeven's a bad filmmaker. So he intended it to be ambiguous. He intended it, like the novel, to be interpreted in multiple ways. And if that's true, then people who have come to the conclusion based on Paul Verhoeven's interview are wrong. You can't come to a conclusion. The point is, you have an opinion, and it's just as valid as everyone else's opinion, just like Paul Verhoeven's opinion is just as valid. His intentions are not. His intentions, if he intended it to be one way, are very important, but I don't think he did. It looks like he intended it to be ambiguous. That's why he left in those scenes that proved it was reality. The point is, the internet likes to jump on these things. This has been one rant from me, Frank, and probably not the last opinion piece I'm going to do. <laughs> Thank you for watching.